So, what is it about us, man? Why is it that we can do everything that God says, have you ever met God? But when it comes to sexual relationships, it's almost like he doesn't exist. Are you having sex? If you are, some would suggest that you are normal, so would I. But let me say this, God created sex. Sex is a God idea, not a man idea. And I want God's blessing on my life, that includes my sex life, but in order to get that, I want to do it God's way. When you have sex God's way, you get God's blessing. Now, you know, look, <clears throat> this is the disciple of Christ, and you know, I'm very concerned about how that the churches, you can tell their doctrine must not be anything because sexual sin has been running rampant in the churches for years. What do y'all believe in? That's why the Lord is calling his redeemed out of every man-made religion. The redeemed are in every race, red, yellow, black, white, and brown. The Lord is calling you out. I didn't even know you could be redeemed. I didn't know that you could be saved. But I didn't know that, that there was a God. It's not me. You, it's not me. And he has a son. His name is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is divine. He is the Father come down in a body Jesus Christ is divine Jesus Christ created all human beings and he chose to come down in a human body and reconcile those who belong to him back to the father and he went to Calvary was crucified for the sin of the redeemed and the redeemed will trust in the Lord. Are you one of the redeemed? If you are, you're waiting like I was to hear a word from God. And you didn't even know because the churches don't tell you you can be redeemed. They teach religion. They teach nonsense. I'm just a disciple to let you know that Jesus redeemed my soul. He wants to redeem your soul. But in order to do that, he had to change my spirit, give me divine faith. He'll have to change your spirit, give you divine faith. You cannot serve the Lord Jesus Christ through religious means, Christianity or Christian, because his spirit will not strive. God is God. Jesus Christ is God. So why is it that when it comes to sex, we disobey him? I am certainly have been guilty of it. I don't know if anyone else has. I don't like to judge people. I just like to call a spade a spade. I can say this, I'm not living the life of a whore. And the blood of Jesus Christ is washing me clean from sins. I've been washed clean from sin. Have you been washed clean from sin by the blood of the Lamb? Do you know who the blood of the Lamb uh, came from? Who is the Lamb? You hear it banded about in churches. Hey, look, ma'am, sir, if you're seeing my face after surfing the YouTube network, this is just a disciple that wants you to know there is a God. It's not you, it's not me. He has a son. His son is named Jesus, called the Christ in English, Yeshua HaMashiach. When Jesus Christ was here, he was born of a virgin to a tribe of people from Israel called the tribe of Judah. History has it that Judah, the skin tone of Judah, were olive tone, 
of the darker brown skin tones, like my skin tone, perhaps your skin tone. <clears throat> However, the Europeans have hijacked the image of Jesus, putting it on posters and making Jesus white, and then telling the minorities, you gotta, you know, obey your masters in the Lord, and they put themselves in the place of Jesus Christ as the masters. And what I'm telling you is, to come to God, you don't have to be a Christian. All I've ever heard in America, coming up in America, is that in order to be, to meet God, if they would say in order to be eternally with God, you have to be a Christian. What I'm saying is, that's not true. If you want to be eternally with God, you must be with Jesus Christ. He will make you as far as the redeemed are concerned Christians are just lost Christ, it's no different than Islam or any other man made religion that may be a message if you've never heard before I can I can guarantee you it's the truth I probably sound like uh, Noah building the ark when they when Noah told them that he was going to build an ark and they saw Noah building an ark on, on dry they thought man had he never rained on the earth they thought Noah was you know uh, <clears throat> dipping into the family recipe and Noah was given to uh, some family recipe but the point being is that Noah got it right when the Lord told him to build the ark hear me, when the Lord told him to build the ark, at that time he was the only man who believed it could be done in the entire world, Noah was the only man who believed that it could be done. Am I talking about Noah? No, I'm talking about me. Every one of us in the kingdom of heaven has a unique and individual message that is not religious because our king is not religious. He's the Messiah. He's Jesus called the Christ. And he's calling his redeemed out from among every man-made religion. Come ye out from among them. Sanctify yourselves unto me, said the Lord. Sanctify your bodies. Consecrate your bodies. Sanctify your minds. Consecrate your mind. I want to sanctify my body. I want to consecrate my body. I want to consecrate my mind. I want to consecrate my body. These things you don't even hear. It's easier to live holy. Don't think for one second. The Lord said, be ye holy for I am holy. He expects exactly that and nothing less. Don't you think that you can't do it? Because you can. Because he is the omnipotent God. He will control and help and lead and guide. He does it for me all the time because I study his word. I get his character. I get the mind of Jesus Christ. When I have the mind of Jesus Christ, I can be Jesus Christ in me. Not trying to be like Jesus Christ. It's the Jesus Christ that's unique within me, but yet it comes up under the rubric of holy living, the way of holiness, the way of righteousness. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So why is it then that we find when it comes to wanting to have sexual intercourse that we totally ignore God's checking in our spirit? Let me just say this to you, human being. Yes, we are sexual beings. But if you say that you belong to the Lord, if I say I belong to the Lord, it is my responsibility to sanctify my sex organs, sanctify my sexual, my mind, sanctify and set it apart for God's use. Save it for that marriage, woman. Save it for that marriage, man. And don't just get married, stay married. And believe God. Listen, what is it about us? I know people who would, are godly beyond belief. And yet when it comes to relationships, sexual relationships, some of the biggest national ministries that you have heard of behind the scenes have problems with sexual relationships. People spending an inordinate amount of time on, on the looking at pornography online. Why would you as a disciple of Christ, if you say you're a disciple of Christ, why would you be interested in the spirit of pornea? You know, they got enough pornography coming from the pulpits on, in these churches on Sunday and some of these 
Every repute house is on Saturday. Every every religion, listen, every one as an individual, if you don't believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God divine, okay, you cannot be received into the beloved. If you believe that Jesus Christ is divine, you will be received into the beloved. If you believe that Jesus Christ was just another created human being, you got bats in your belfry. Okay, I'm, I have no intention of being judgmental, but I do intend to be truthful. It's high time people had, you heard some, something on YouTube that's truthful. It may not sound religious, it ain't gonna sound religious, but I can tell you this, I'm here to speak to your spirit. Your spirit is craving to hear what I'm craving to hear, and that is from God who created you. You don't need to be a Christian to come to God. When you do come to God, give your sex life to God. I gave my sex life to God. I don't know how to do any of this, but the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but the almighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds and casting down vain imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Have you ever met God? 